let's let's talk about sleep because again i think I, I will talk about this as much as i can because i think this there's almost like a people have like a toxic relationship with sleep in the sense that not sleeping as much is almost something to boast about perfect example the rock now, i'm a huge fan of the rock and i'm pretty sure you are too but his mentality of i sleep like it seems like he never sleeps you know something this was actually i was listening to a, a, a it was almost like a a vocal uh like monologue about you know stuff he said yeah the other day actually when i was training and yeah. and that was the exact thought in my mind I was like look he's telling us about he gets up at such and such time and goes to bed yep. at such and such time, works these days and blah, blah, blah. And obviously you understand the the, the, the trials and tribulations of the film industry, right? Yeah. And then you've got travel and all that stuff in there as well. And and it, it was the thing that was going over in my head. But you know something, he never talks about it. No, never. And he I never thought, says, you know, I only sleep X amount. He never, never actually pinpoints what it is. No, and, and that's, you know, people will start almost going, okay, it's clear that he barely sleeps. So therefore, in order to me, for me to be successful, I need to not sleep. And that's the worst thing you could possibly do. It never looks tired. Something I felt so guilty of for my entire life because I slept so much. And I, I, it took me a long time. And my mom, my, as I said, my dad's military, so crack it on. Mom, nurse, crack it on. Me, let me sleep. And I felt so guilty all my life. But then I realized, well... This is this is a huge part of my life that I, I you know whilst yeah I'm sacrificing some awake hours, I'm, this is this is helping me stay healthy, and then I also realized I've got cystic fibrosis. Whilst it, yes, it doesn't affect me on a day to day basis as much as other people. Regardless, my body is working very hard under the surface just to keep me going. Yeah, you know every internal process within my body is still very difficult. So my the amount of hours that I need to sleep is again, is going to be different to someone else's. But for me, what really helps me is whenever I go to bed, and I'm sure a lot of people will relate to this, is that's when your brain just starts firing off because yeah, yeah. there's silence. There's no visual distractions. There's no you know tactile distractions. There's nothing. It's just you in your mind. And it's just like you think of the weirdest stuff in the world. You think of the most depressing things. You think of the most, in, like, just your brain goes on all these amazing yeah. tangents. So what's helped me that sounds ridiculous is I listen to a topic that I find mildly interesting. So I'll have a podcast on, which most of the time is a movie podcast. Yeah. And that allows me to, my brain isn't, you know, focused on internal, it's external. So it's focused on something else, but it's not enough to kind of perk my interest. It's just like, okay, I can just, it's like, listen to have, you know, someone having a conversation that you're not super into, but you're like, I can just, I can just chill. Yeah. 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 That has been, by and far the easiest method for me to get to sleep to the point where my wife can't fall asleep without there being, you know, someone talking in the room. That sounds ridiculous, but that is. It, it actually doesn't sound ridiculous. I, I totally get that. It's, you know, yeah, you don't want something to be stimulating. Exactly. But you also don't want to be left to your own devices, especially I think if you're, you know, and you, you pinpointed early in the podcast about the fact that you're a very creative thinker. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think that's a, you know, it's, it, it's something that you kind of cursed with. I think if you're a creative person, in the, the second that you get a bit of space, your brain goes nuts. And yeah. then again with the CF, you know, the shadow that I or the you know, yeah yeah that, you, my mind can go to some pretty dark places, and then that can spiral off, and I start panicking. And, you know, I've never you know I've never had a panic attack, and I've never had anything like that, bar one maybe event um, which was triggered by CF. But I'm very fortunate in that sense, and I think that that has been that that's the one thing I think is fairly unique or outside of the box that maybe people don't do um that i, I definitely do I think you'd be surprised that there'll be a lot of people who do some kind of guise of that whether it's a you know a tv show or whatever it might be you know we, we quite often throw the tv on at night and you know despite the fact that you know i know about light and i know about the i have no problem falling asleep no me either. i don't i don't have any issues with 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 lights stimulating me overly and and blah 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 but i have a, a very stringent sort of routine with what i do in the morning what i do in the evening so I think it's something that, that people will relate to. But again, you know, I've heard my wife say before, she's she's like, don't put that show on because I'll get into it and then I won't be able to sleep. Yeah. But we can put this on because it's kind of like, you know, it's just whatever. Yeah. You know, you don't care. And it's it's a similar kind of thing, right? Yeah. Similar kind of thing. So is there anything like like really novel that you're 
you know, in the morning, do you have a morning routine? Is there anything funky in there that you do that probably, you know, is thinking outside the box or thinking a little bit revolutionary? What about bedtime routine? Is there anything else in there? Not really. No, no. Uh, like that's the thing. Like I always say this, that if you looked at me and just from a surface level, you'd think he's not really doing anything different. Like there's nothing that different. Like if you saw me in the gym, this is where the whole, all the praise and all that stuff that I get, that I, it makes me feel a bit awkward. Cause I'm like, I don't really deserve all this. I'm just doing, yeah. I'm just doing what normal people do. Um, and that kind of carries on to, to the rest of us. The only thing I would say, and this is, this is my present uh, or my clients will, will very much resonate with this. The one thing when it comes to nutrition, every single time I eat, I, there's a voice in my head that goes, where's the protein? Where's the protein in that meal? And that is genuinely probably the simplest piece of advice I can give anyone if they're struggling with, with nutrition is look at every time you eat and go, is there a source of protein in that meal? probably going to be pretty helpful but that is stuck in my mind even when i'm on holiday and i'm like at a buffet you know we were in lanzarote a couple of months ago i went to the buffet and i was like right okay whilst i don't super enjoy eggs i'll eat them because i know that's going to get my protein yeah. and then i can enjoy the rest of my food it's a very very simple thing that i do every single day and again my clients will laugh at me because i literally I've said it. one thing you can get from me is just like where's the protein where's the protein um yeah. but yeah other than that i'm pretty pretty straightforward again i i kind of like that because if someone did have the ability to watch me they wouldn't see anything extraordinary and i'm glad because that means that they can see that you don't need to be extraordinary to get to a, a high level of whatever it is you want to yeah. be 